we're going to talk about the build array function. Build array exists on the array palette. Build array can be used for a number of functions. It can, for instance, be used to join two arrays. In this case, we have array one here and array two here. And what we want to do is to put these two arrays together. We can wire one into each input of a build array and create an indicator here so we can see what it looks like. And what we will get when we execute this is an array that is a 2D array containing array one here and a second row containing array two. In some cases, you may want to append one array to the other. In other words, you want, in this case, these cells to all exist in the same array one after another. We can do that by right-clicking this and tell it to concatenate inputs. If we then create our indicator here and go to the front panel, we execute this and if we expand this out we see that we have the contents of array 1 followed by array 2. So build array can be used for either type of function. The third most common way build array is used is to construct an array primarily if you're trying to do something like create a uh, time base for an XY graph or something like that. We're going to add a shift register here and we're going to just make a very simple function here. We're going to wire this guy up here. We're going to tell this to run 10 times. We're going to put a multiply in and we're going to say that for every iteration of this counter we're going to multiply by 0 0.01 let's get that typed in there right there 0 0.01 okay now what we want is this to build an array we have two ways we can do this one is that we can utilize a build array function Okay, so I'm going to wire the incoming array to this guy and wire the output to him. S this element up here creates a zero length single uh, element array so that it initializes this point. The other thing we could do is we could just attach this as an output. I'm going to create an indicator for this one and I'm going to create an indicator for this one. Okay, we will go look at both of these. There's, oops, here's array three and we'll expand this one out and here is, oop, get back in there, get the whole thing selected drag him down here we will expand him out we're going to execute this and we can see that both elements both methods you work perfectly the same for creating a output array for time base in this case 10 elements that's all there is to it